Lynn here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is we're going to be working on my powder room. Yes, we are. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. What a <laughs> challenge this has been. Let me tell you something. It has been a challenge. I'm wanting to do it in about this color, a cobalt blue and white and a little bit of silver thrown in. And I have been searching and searching and searching and searching for accent pieces to go in to the powder room. Now, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna show you some things that I've found and that I think will go beautifully in there. And then we're gonna make a 10 loop funky bow and I'm gonna uh, make a little swag to put to hang on the side of a little different swag than what, it's gonna be more like a teardrop, like my version of like a teardrop, swaggy kind of thing. I don't know what it's called to be honest with you guys, but I wanna make something to go um, kind of to drape down the side of a shelf that I have hanging in there above the toilet, which you guys will see. I've kind of decorated the shelf a little bit. I may add a little bit more to it here and there. We're also gonna tweak a little centerpiece that I'm gonna set a lamp down into. And uh, we're just gonna do a couple of things here at the table, and then I will take you into the powder room and show you where everything has been placed and, and has gone. Uh, it's easier for me to do that, you guys, uh, than to take the tripod and the ladder and everything else in there. I'd rather just carry the camera in, do the decorate with me kind of stuff, the crafty stuff out here, and then carry the camera in there and show you how everything looks. But you're gonna see all the elements other than what I've just said on the, on the shelf, you know, which you will see. So anyway, let me go through the couple of things that I have found here. First of all, I needed ribbon for a bow. Well, I've been looking all around town. I've been looking online. I've been looking here and there. Did I ever think once to go downstairs and look in my coffers? No, never thought to do that until the other day we were down there looking around for something else and look what I came across. <laughs> Yay. So this is kind of a little bit sheer and then this, look how pretty. I got these at the end of the season last year. I guess I was thinking I might like to turn my stuff over to blue and white, everything. Can y'all imagine? Oh my goodness. That would cost me an arm and a leg in, you know, my land. My paycheck for a year, it would cost me. It would, it would just be so much money to do that. But I had thought about it, obviously, because I had picked these up at the end of the season. So this is what we're gonna make our 10 loop funky bow out of, and I'll tell you about that in a second. But I'm really, I was really excited to find these in my basement. I was like, oh my gosh. So the whole decor is kind of, well, blue and white. So let me put that over there. Also, I, uh, right now I have three pictures hanging, one, two, three in a row in there. And they're blue and white and they're really pretty and I love them. And I wanted to do something similar to that only in Christmas. Well, do you all think, I have searched the world over, literally, <laughs> for three pictures, three Christmas pictures that are square and that would look the same and that wouldn't cost me an arm and a leg, too. That's my thing for today. We're gonna, this thing's gonna cost me an arm and a leg. It didn't, it didn't cost me an arm and a leg to do. But I did wanna show you one thing I found on, on uh, Amazon, which I think is super cute. This is a, a light up, canvas. I'm not sure. Let me turn my light out. I'm not sure if you can. Um, I'm going to talk to Alexa, so hold your ears <laughs> or mute your computer. Alexa, turn out kitchen table light. Okay. Here I am in the dark, but maybe you can see how this little tree, look at the lights on the tree changing colors. It's like a little fiber optic tree. And, and, and it takes two AA batteries and you put them in right underneath this little flap in the back. Look at that. Two AA batteries and it has a little toggle switch on one side. There it is. A little toggle switch. See that? That's how you turn it on and off. So when it's hanging on the wall, you can turn it on and off. When company's coming or whatever, you can turn it on, you know, and it'll light the way a little bit 
for folks coming in there. I'm sure it doesn't put off that much light, but I always have a lamp on the sink, you know, but I just think it thought it was pretty. So I got this from Amazon. I'll give you a link or it's linked in my uh, Christmas decor and accents uh, storefront idea list. So somebody's coming to my front door, it says. I didn't see anybody pull up in the driveway. I just got an alert. It's a little windy outside. Sometimes the wind gets my bow tails flying in front of the camera. <laughs> Anyway, I'm gonna turn my lights back on. Alexa. There we go. So that will go in the middle. And then I just went to Walmart and I thought, and I, I couldn't find anything for either side of it. So I just went to Walmart and I picked up two of these snowflakes. These were $2.98 a piece. Better than me spending, this was, I don't remember how much this was, I'll flash it up. But I wasn't gonna spend for either side of that, that much money. I just wasn't gonna do it. I just don't wanna spend that much money. And these are really pretty, they're glittery. Look at that. They're glittery and they'll catch the light. And I just thought those three, these on either side and that in the middle, will be super pretty and on the, and on the wall. And I already have a scroll piece that's kind of uh, gold and it's got a, a white and blue center in the middle of it, or just a brushed looking center. You'll see that when we get in there. So anyway, I think that is gonna be really cute for one wall. Turn this off. And then uh, for above the shelf, I just picked this up from Hobby Lobby the other day. Merry Christmas. I think I hauled this. So that will go above the shelf, I think. We'll see if I can get it all into place. But that will go on the shelf above the shelf above the toilet you know and then i already had this picture and i have a like a couple of little candle holders in there that hold votive candles three each above my towel bar so i usually have a picture above there of just a little picture of blue birds just little it's a lot little more than this so hopefully i can make this work above that i already had this again last year i bought this toward the end of the season again thinking i had it sitting on the floor in the living room last year but i'm going to put this in the bathroom and i think it's super pretty very icy looking i have no earthly idea where i got this you guys i have no i think in that oh i know i know it was in that that's where i got it last year but last year and i don't have a price tag on it i have no idea how much it costs I, out of and that, it was probably like about $8, 8 or $9. Probably not too much more than that. But, so those are the elements I'm going to use in my powder room. I'm gonna, I have a blue charger here that I'm going to set this little centerpiece that I'm going to make on. So I have that. Try to bring a touch of the blue in too. And then you'll see here what I'm going to do with my... Uh, swaggy thingy doodle, whatever we want to call okay, it. Okay, so let me change, turn my camera here and get it situated in a way in which you can wait, watch me make this bow, a 10 loop funky bow, and then we'll make this swag up and then we'll do the little centerpiece here while we're sitting at the table. And then I'll come back and I'll do my final words and then I'll take you into the powder room and show you our all around the powder room, every, every little inch of it. Well, oh, I don't know, it might be a little dusty here and there. I might not show you every inch. But I'll show you where the where everything landed. Okay? All right, let me get my camera turned here. I'm just yammering along. I tell you, I can't shut up, y'all. I just talk and talk and talk. Okay. Use my caffeine-free Diet Coke here. Early in the day, after after I've uh, this is before we've gone to lunch here. Chris is doing some stuff outside, so I thought I would get started on my video. So we'll, when I get this done, we'll go to lunch and then we'll come back and finish. He'll help me hang the stuff and then I'll show you. Okay, so here we go. I only have two of these. I was never able to find any more and that's okay. That's okay. I only need two. They're big and I, hopefully I can get it to work in this swag. If not, it'll go in the centerpiece too. Anyway, here we go with my bow. Uh, as you can see, I have, well, you can't see probably because they're all piled on top of each other, but I have five of each five strips of each type of ribbon cut out five and five equals ten which means i'm going to be making a ten loop funky bow 
have my pipe cleaner, just need a pipe cleaner. This bow is not gonna have tails on it, so I don't have an extra piece for tails. Uh, but I do, I'll put these above my tape measure. Okay, so to make a funky bow, this is a little different. I don't have a cheat sheet for the 10 loop, but it's very easy to do, and I think you can remember how I do this. So what I wanna do is I wanna go through a pattern, and I wanna put, let's just start. I'm gonna fold the first piece in half, and I'm gonna go to five and a half inches on my measuring stick, and I'm gonna pinch it together right at that five and a half inch point. Then I'm gonna to go to that back tail, and I'm gonna flip it forward. Even though this doesn't look like two-sided ribbon, it kind of is. And I like all my ribbon to be pointed in the same direction, at least when I'm making the bow. So I'm gonna set up a pattern in this bow, and that pattern is I'm going to be pointing two loops up from center, go to the five and a half inch point, pinch it together, Flip that back tail, first two loops. And then the next two loops, I'm gonna be pointing down from center. Five and a half inches, point that loop down from center, pinch it in, go side by side by side. Go to that back tail and flip, okay? Next one, this one I'm going to point down as well five and a half inches. Straighten that ribbon out. Don't let it, you know, when you pick it up and fold it in half, it might be kind of loopy, but straighten it out. Go to five and a half inches, and then we're gonna turn it down from center and accordion it in there. Look at the glitter flying. I am telling you, I am covered in glitter. Oh. Okay, next time, we're gonna turn, flip the loop and go up from center, my thumb. When I say center, I'm talking about my thumb being the center of the bow, this thumb. And twist again. Fold it in half, straighten it out, five and a half inches, and pinch it in right there at that spot and twist that bow. Okay, two times, two more times through the pattern. Five and a half inches, we're twisting it this time, flipping it, that bow down from center. I'm letting the ribbon kind of slip down into the crook of my finger, see that? And I'm letting up on the, I'm not holding it so tight that my hand is hurting down from center and twist. One more. Time through the pattern and we're gonna end this pattern with the loops pointed up. I did not have a white pipe cleaner and I did not have a blue pipe cleaner. Can you believe that? Anyway, so we're gonna go with a gray pipe cleaner. <laughs> you won't see it anyway. All right, so there we go. That's the entire funky bow. We have all the ribbons added in. And now we're gonna take our pipe cleaner and we're gonna lay it across the top. I'm gonna find the center of the pipe cleaner and we're gonna lay it across the top and catch, catch it under our thumb. Pull the bottom around the bottom, top around the top. This is not very, thick ribbon, as you can tell. Uh, pull against your dominant hand that you manipulated the, the ribbons with. Get those fingers up as far as you can to the back. Kind of pull, turn your hand around and really pinch it together and then twist. Twist, twist, twist the bow, twist the pipe cleaner. Twist it many times so it won't come apart. Because now comes the most important part and that is the fluffing. So we wanna take some time and we really want to fluff out, get your hand in every single bow loop and just 
fluff, fluff, fluff. The fluffing of a bow, no matter what kind of bow you're making, even if you have store-bought bows, you guys, even if you just use store-bought bows, do fluff them, you know? They can be beautiful bows, store-bought bows, or gorgeous bows, uh, you know. But just be sure to, you know, take them out of the, the little cardboard they come in or whatever. In fact, we just got a bunch, and I'll have to haul those uh, soon. I forgot to. Sorry, I've got, we got our red bows that we ordered for our front of the house. I'll haul them when we get out there, probably. And uh, I have to, I'm going to have to fluff every one of them. They came flat in a box. Anyway, that is one pretty funky bow. And I'll fluff it some more when I get it onto the swag. But for now, that's super pretty, huh? Alrighty, so let's work on this swag. I'm gonna put this over here, look at that. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness, it's Glitter City here. Ooh. It's even gonna get worse though, because I've got this. <laughs> I bought these from at home yesterday. Uh, they were $2.99. And I also picked up these. I have two of these. I think I have two of these too. So, and this was $3.99. Specifically to do this swag. Or whatever this is. Now, I had these two. I used similar or these exact things actually in my owl wreath that is over there on that door right there I used these same tufts and these I had picked up at Hobby Lobby a while back so I've had these here at the house this year I bought them this year you can find them in Hobby Lobby they're not in the picks like where they have their little picks you got to go like to the other side of the store and they have them in buckets over there and each one is $9.99 so, you know, I paid $5 for it, 50% off at Hobby Lobby. Okay, now, so this is, <laughs> hopefully, what I'm going to use to make that little swag out of. I want it to hang down from a hook that I have on that on the shelf up there. So I wanna bend that a little bit. And I don't know whether I'll be able to, I might have to put something on this to hang it on the hook. To be honest with you, that might not be enough. Look at the glitter. Oh my land. Hmm. I'm gonna to need to take a vacuum cleaner over myself. But anyway, I just kinda of wanna start this and like this, and I wanna tie these together. Okay, so I have a tie wrap back here. I could just use one. Uh, you know, I really could just use one. But you know me, I want it to be a little bit more substantial. So I'm going to use two. And I am going to use whatever you guys call these. Some people call these zip ties. Some people call them cable ties. I call them whatever comes to my mind when I pick one up to use one. <laughs> Today it's cable tie. Oh, come on. That is if I can get it to work. I don't want to tighten it all the way yet. Because I'm thinking I would just like these just to kind of lay in with this. And then I will put the, I want them to kind of just lay like that. And I'm not sure about the, the these. I kind of just like the the white balls. I might tie some of those on individually. So I'm just gonna tighten those just like that. See that? And then I'll pull the, the pine around them. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna put another tie wrap up here to hold this into place.
Now, the bow is gonna go there. Why couldn't we put the flower? Okay, I think I'll add the flower. Let's put the bow on first though. And I don't wanna use the pipe cleaners. I wanna use a tie wrap. This is my new way of doing, attaching these bows, you guys, this year. I've just kind of adopted this. It holds my bows onto my swags or wherever I'm putting them so much better than if I uh, just use the pipe cleaner because the pipe cleaner tends to be a little bit flouncy and it's not as sturdy. So I do want to, the problem is it's hard to get the cable ties fed through. There we go. Now let me attach the bow right about there. I'm winging this, you guys. I really am. I've, I've not, I've made something similar maybe once. Not really though. This is kind of just coming out of my head. look at the glitter. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, now, so that'll kind of be the top. And, you know, I've got plenty of the, the pine that I can pull around and up front here. Let me think and see how this pretty flower can go on here. I got these at Hobby Lobby. They, at least last week, they didn't have any more online. And they didn't have any more in my store all week. I went in several times. This was $7.99, 50% off. So let me cut this down a smidge though. I kind of want it to hang. to the side like that, I think. I really don't wanna use both blue flowers in here. I really want to just use the one. So we're gonna go with it just like that. Hopefully it'll look all right when I hang it up. Okay. Ready to add some of those in. Wonder if I just laid it in instead of cutting it, if I could just pull them kind of around to where I wanted them, you know? I think that might be better than individually. These are very bendy. I think I'll do that. Again, y'all, I'm winging this like you would not believe. I'm gonna do it just like that. I'm gonna be a white type.
think that worked out pretty well. <laughs> and of course, I'll have to fix my bow. But I'm liking this. I'm gonna have to cut this stem up. Sometimes you just have to start working with stuff, you guys, and you know, see what happens. Some pretty neat stuff happens. I love it. Again, I have to tweak this bow. Hi. And I'm gonna need to get out my vacuum cleaner <laughs> because it's just crazy with this glitter. I'll be able to do more fluffing once I get it into the powder room. But I love it. I think it's pretty. I think it's gonna be pretty hanging in there. I can't wait to get it into place. I think it's gonna be super pretty. All right, so there that was. I wasn't kidding about my vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna get my vacuum out and vacuum this up before I start working with my other little thing. So I will be right back. Yikes. Okie dokie, you guys, I'm back. I still have a mess, but it's better. <laughs> All right, I have some elements here that I pulled out of a bin where I put all this away. This was all the stuff that came out of, or this, all of this was all the stuff that came out of my uh, powder room last year. And we're going to use some of it and then add some other stuff to it. So this is just a little, mm, I would say 10 inch, maybe, little pine wreath. And I had obviously cut it in half one year to put it around something. I'm not sure what. But anyway, the lamp is gonna sit down underneath here and the cord is gonna come out from underneath too. And I also want to have these little lights lit if they'll work. I'm not sure if they'll still work. We'll see here. This is an old, and yay, I'm gonna put them timer steady timer steady on and they look like they're wrapped around there pretty well and that just simply sits right there now I have a white little white lamp that's going to sit in the middle and I really want this blue flower in here where's my snippers they got covered up And I'm very simply, very, very simply, going to just add some of these silver uh, tufts around. And kind of set them in the top. Something simple like this can add so much. Look at that already. Just go all the way around with that. And pick a front here, and I'm just gonna kind of take some around the edge too, just around where I think the front and two sides will be, because it's gonna be sitting like on the sink with the back toward the, you know, toward the wall. I don't have to worry so much about the the back of it. Just put some around the front. Okay. About like that. It's not going to be perfect. 
I don't want it to be perfect. Now, as I'm sitting here looking at it, and it says it's gonna be sitting on the, on the sink, I think I'll want, I might have to wait till I get in there to tweak this, but I think I want the flower on this side, like that. And then I had some more of these, and I had another thing of snowflakes. And then I got a couple of these little snowflakes. I think I just wanna use, well, we'll see. Oh, these are ornaments, actually. But I do this a lot, I use ornaments you know, in my little centerpieces and stuff just as accents. This, these, this was $1.99 at, at home. So usually when I use them like this, I put the ornament down. I think one will probably go back there. I'm not positive on this, you guys. I'll, I will definitely have to get in there and work with this at the sink. I thought it would be pretty to just add a little something something here and there. I may not use the second one. <laughs> I'll have to see when I get in there. I also bought these little uh, hummingbirds from Walmart. And I thought one of these might look pretty somewhere. These again are ornaments, but. Just a little something, you know. I don't even know. Like I said, I'll have to get in there and play with it a little bit. This might not even end up in it, <laughs> but it might. Something like that. You guys will see the finished product when I get it in this to the powder room. Again, I'm just winging this, you guys. I had really no plan for this entire design <laughs> so we're just kind of winging it as we go and I'm not obviously I'm not like making this to uh, to stay together all through the year I will take this apart All right, that's all I'm gonna do with this. I'm gonna quit touching it, and we'll see how it looks when we get it into the powder room. All right? Okay, so that's it. That's all the playing I'm gonna do out here at my table, and this is, I do call this playing, you guys. I love working with this stuff. I've saved some of this stuff to maybe go on to the shelf. I have a couple more of these. So we'll see where they end up, if anywhere. If not, I'll put them, I'll hang them out on my white tree, right? <laughs> so, all right, you guys, I am going to turn the camera around here and do some final words with you guys here while I'm looking at you. And then I'll take you in and give you a tour of the entire powder room when it's all done. Okie dokie, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed just me sitting here playing with my new things and trying to make up some new designs. I love doing that. That's the creator in me, you know, I guess comes out a little bit. Uh, you know, I, I definitely recreated the wheel with both of these things. Well, kind of with the thing that's going to go around the lamp. Honestly, you know, I kind of did something similar last year only with red berries and stuff, but uh, I'm super happy with how both things worked out. Hopefully they'll look good where I planned them to go. And you know, like I said, I'll be right back 
you know, in just a few minutes for you guys. It'll be like the snap of a finger for you guys. It's going to be a little longer for me. <laughs> uh, but I'll come back and show you the finished design and how everything looks in place. And it will be my blue and white powder room. Whoop, whoop. Oh, my goodness. I'll be glad to put get this thing done. It has been on my mind constantly. Y'all know, those of you who are decorators, you know what I've been going through with this room, trying to figure out what I wanted to do without spending a wad in there. And I didn't. I, you know, I bought some florals and, you know, the one picture and the one plaque, you know. Had the ribbon, thankfully. And, uh, you know, I, I did buy some accents for these floral arrangements. But all in all, I could have spent a lot more. I could have spent a lot more. So, anyway. All right, I'm going to hush up now so you can finally see it, huh? So let me go into my final words. Thank you all so much for stopping by here. Next up will be this table and my lanterns, my red lantern centerpiece and how I get this table set up. And then we're gonna head in to the dining room. We're gonna start in there, I don't know with what. I have a little surprise in there for you though. But uh, anyway, we'll get to that another time. So let me go into my final words and say, <laughs> I hope all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Come back though, so you can see the powder room. Bye-bye. Thank you, Dokie, everybody. Here we come into the powder room. Oh my goodness. I'm really happy with how this worked out. Let me start here and I'll work my way around the room. Here's that really icy looking picture that blends beautifully with the wall. Look at that. There's a good example of how this perfect grayish paint color works with everything. I love it. And then I've had these two candle holders for ever and a day. I don't even remember where I got those, you guys. And then one of you guys sent me this beautiful towel and another one, but this one matched in here, so I thought I would hang it in here. It looks really cute. And then let's go around here to the Merry Christmas sign. And then my willow tree angel that Kristen gave me. Actually, she's a little girl, I can't remember reach for the stars or reach for something, I think. And here is that little spray that I made. Looks super cute there. Let me back off so you can see the whole shelf. I can't quite get it all in the, this is why it's hard to film in here. It's a pretty good sized powder room, but it's still hard to get back far enough to see everything. But it looks good. And then I had these two little containers. They always sit in the shelf. So I just stuck some of the same, you know, elements in there as I used in the arrangement on the sink and in this swag. So super happy with that. There's my shiny kind of modern looking, if you will, Christmas trees. I love them there. They look good against that black shelf, huh? And some pretty silver bells. My mama's favorite. Christmas Carol Silver Bells. And then my two little angels. And the little snowman plate. Looks good with a blue background. And then here is this picture. Let me turn the light out real quick so you can see. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So. But there's the two um, snowflakes from Walmart on either side. And there's that 
wall, scrolly wall piece. Got that from Amazon. I think I might have that linked in my Amazon shop. Possibly in my blue and white idea list. Excuse the little holes in the wall. I'm not even sure I'm going to worry about it. That's where the other pictures go. <laughs> we They wouldn't quite fit this trio. So that's okay. There's one of the towels I bought the other day from at home. And I got this Christmas tree this year from Hobby Lobby. I love it. This big fat Christmas tree and this little deer I've had forever. And this is the only touch of red in here other than on the little snowman or the little, yeah, the joy snowman on the shelf. Just a little, little touch of red. And I have these cobalt blue candlesticks. I bought those at the at at home a long time ago though. They were on sale. And I just put some, you all saw me haul these snowflake candles, white and silver. And then this looks super pretty. This turned out so pretty. I'm really happy with that. And there's my napkins. <laughs> So let me back out of here and I'll show it to you lit and then I'll turn the lights out and show it to you how it looks with the lights out. It looks pretty. Very happy with it. This was not the original sink by the way and mirror and light fixture. We got all three from Home Depot and Chris installed them all. The light fixture matches all the other light fixtures in the house though. They're all, they all come from the same place. All right, let me turn the light out. First, there's the picture. I just think that is the neatest looking little thing for in here. And then, and then the sink, look at that. That looks really pretty. Super happy with how it all worked out, you guys. <laughs> so, next up, as I said, will be the kitchen table and that centerpiece for that table. And then that'll do it for this side of the house. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. I will catch you soon, I am sure. You take it easy. Love you bunches. Until next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>